In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use OBS virtual camera. So basically you have a show that you're running in OBS and you want to take that show and actually send it to Zoom or you're doing a lot of Zoom calls and you want to take basically advantage of something like OBS that can give you, you know, a way to add the lower thirds, graphics, do some presentations like screen share. Like you have so many cool stuff you can do in OBS. So I want to give you the idea or the possibility of taking that show from obs and actually sending it to uh, a zoom call which is gonna make you look even more professional so that's that and you can use the same concept actually to send that show to if you're not using zoom maybe using google meet i use uh, google meet most of the time so you can do exactly the same thing we're gonna be using what we call obs a virtual camera so let's not take much time let's get right into it so as you can see, I already have OBS open. I have a generic show here. We have my main camera here and I have my camera number two is disconnected. Uh, camera number three, it's just a screen share of my other screen. So nothing fancy there. All right. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to go ahead and let's just go to camera one, which is my webcam that's connected right now. So what you need to do, you need to go here under controls here. All right. And there's this button that says start virtual camera. Now, before you start it, you can actually go to this gear icon and decide what you want to send to Zoom. All right. So let's say you just want to send to Zoom just one camera. For example, I can choose can go here, go to output type and then choose scene, all right? And I just wanna send scene number one, which is my camera that's there. I can do that. If I wanna send maybe a specific source, like let's just say it's just, it's just a camera, and I don't wanna send like any overlays that could be there, I just want, I wanna send a clean camera, I can definitely do that, all right? But mostly, as you can see, when you choose a source, it's gonna ask you which source you wanna send. So they say I wanna send this screen share, all right? And hit okay right that's what's gonna show up in zoom so let me go ahead and open up zoom a little quick so we're gonna go ahead and open zoom and i'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like so we're gonna open a new meeting and as you can see it has already you know kind of detected it but don't worry i'm gonna show you how i did it so usually the, your camera is off so i'm gonna go here usually you go under video and then you go select a camera all right so as you can see, usually OBS virtual camera is going to show up here. Now, sometimes it may not show up. It actually happened to me uh, once and I freaked out. I thought it was a problem, but it's not a problem. So if it doesn't show up because you have too many inputs, like I think uh, Zoom has like a maximum of in you know uh, inputs that can show up at, uh, at once. So it's not showing up right now. And uh, if you don't see it, in your inputs here, don't freak out. I did freak out at first. I thought was, you know, something was wrong with OBS. What you need to do is you can go to video settings and then go here where it says camera. Okay. And as you can see, OBS virtual camera is going to show up. Okay. It's going to show up somewhere here. Okay. That's how I was able to get it working. So as, as you can see, the first one is this one. Like you have so many other inputs, but you want to make sure you go here where it says OBS virtual camera. It may, it might be actually the last one. So click to it. Now, as you can see, it's kind of disabled. So what we need to do now, if you want to mirror it, you can mirror it if you want. Okay. Again, for me, I'm not sure if I need to mirror it. All right. So you can uncheck if you need to mirror it. If you want to need uh, send HD signal, you can do that. And then, and then you can just close. Okay. And then what you need to do, obviously, you need to activate your camera. And as you can see, this is what we are receiving from uh, OBS. Why? Because it's not activated. Okay. So we go back to OBS and then hit start virtual camera. So you always have to activate it. If you don't, it's going to show just the logo. So now, as you can see, if I go to zoom, you can see it's showing the source, which is my, the specific source that we actually chose, which was my screen presentation. Now, this is usually, this is now what you want to do. Most people want to show the program, which is what we're going to do. So I'm going to go back to OBS here. I'm going to go to the gear icon. This is what most people will show unless you have specific needs. You want to go to program and basically program is going to show whatever you have live that's showing on the main screen in OBS. That's what's going to show on, on Zoom. So click OK. 
Now, the virtual camera is on. If I go to zoom, you can see that I'm actually getting the signal, which is my main camera. Now, if I switch to camera two, zoom is going to show nothing because on camera two, I mean, on scene number two, sorry, there's nothing. If I switch to presentation, which is my third scene, whatever I have going on happening, this is what I'm going to get here in zoom. All right. So this is what most people do. This is what makes sense mostly. And of course, for your microphone, you want to make sure you go ahead and check the actual microphone that you have connected. You want people to hear you from. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to get advanced, you want to have like some, you know, background music playing on Zoom and stuff like that. There's another way of doing it because there's no virtual audio kind of output built into OBS. But there's some other applications you can use to kind of route the audio coming from OBS and you send that to Zoom. One of them being virtual cables. But other than that, this is how you would do it. And again, this is, I say I go to camera one. Boom. As you can see, it's actually showing. Now, for when it comes to Google Meet, uh, it's, it's actually going to be the same thing. Let me go ahead and open Google Meet. Same thing. We have activated our virtual camera. I'm going to go ahead and create a new meeting. And in that new meeting, as you can see, it actually shows up right away. But what I would do usually, I'll go to video settings here. And as you can see, OBS virtual camera is already selected, right? If it wasn't selected, it just could be something else, you know, something else here that has nothing. Again, you go here and then go to your inputs and then go to OBS virtual camera. And then obviously you want to make sure it's activated and then boom. So as you can see, it's showing no problem. Now you can go to settings and try to change because right now it's kind of mirrored. Go to video. So it looks like there's no way to and mirror it so again these are just some limitations on google meet side it's actually not mirrored this is what it's supposed to look like by the way it's not mirrored so this is what it looks like uh but if you look in zoom zoom it's a little kind of mirrored all right so you want to make sure you go to video settings and go to video here uh, and hit mirror my video it's just weird the way it looks like, uh, but if I do a mirror, you can see like some of the writing on my shirt, it's kind of reversed, right? So if I unmirror it, now I can read it. <laughs> so that's, that's just the way it is. It's kind of weird sometimes what these uh, programs can do. But you know what you want to focus on, you want to make sure if you're wearing something, that's, that's going to be the indicator of what it's supposed to be. So if you're wearing something, make sure it shows people can read it uh if i go to meet as you can see it's kind of weird because i can't like all my stuff that i have written on my t-shirts kind of upside down so that's something that you have to be aware of i uh, i am sure there's probably a way to fix that in google meet so so far it looks like there's no way to adjust it in google meet so that's something you kind of have to live with but in zoom you can actually change that and then people are going to be able to read so guys this is how you do it but if you running a show in obs and trying to be on zoom at the same time it could be overwhelming and the only way to simplify the task is to use something called a stream deck a stream deck is going to allow you to really automate most of the work so all you have to do is just to press one or two buttons to kind of be able to do most complex and difficult tasks to kind of you know execute while you live so i'm gonna encourage you to watch my next video because that's where i'm gonna show you step by step how to set up a stream deck to be able to control your obs show eventually you can use that obs show and do what we just did in this video of sending that to a zoom conference so if you want to check out that video it's gonna be linked right here so make sure to check it out and i'll see you there guys